Yeah, Friday night. Welcome back on the Good Morning Artesia Radio Show. And it's time to fish with Jovi. Good morning. Hello. And uh, this is almost fishing weather, right? Um, yeah. <laughs> yeah, it looks good outside. Kinda, kinda it's a little cool. chilly, but it looks good. Yeah. Well, I know last week when you were on, you were talking about uh, some of the proposals for the, the tournament season for the Pecos Valley Bass Masters. And mm-hmm. how's the work on that going? So we've got everything uh, finished and decided. And I've actually got the uh, tournament schedule up on our website, pvbm.club, if anybody's interested to take a look at that. And, and if you haven't joined yet, of course, you can go there as well. Click on the Join tab and then fill out the enrollment forms. Email that in, and I'll get the invoice out to you to join the club. But uh, we, took our, we took our vote, and um, everything is approved as proposed. So we, uh, we have our tournament schedule in place. We're going to have... A total of uh, 10 individual tournaments and five um, team tournaments. All of the tournaments except the first and the last. The very first one is a team tournament down at Amstead. So our first tournament this year is March 5th and 6th at Amstead in Del Rio, Texas. And our last tournament will be the championship, which I'm not including in those 15, but it's going to be a two-day tournament. All the rest of our tournaments will be one-day tournaments. Uh, the team tournaments are all one day except for Amstead. And then the individual tournaments are all one day. We will be fishing over weekends, but Saturday be a tournament, Sunday will be a tournament. And the other format change was boaters versus boaters and non-boaters versus non-boaters in all of our individual tournaments. Those all passed, those proposals. And so that is our, uh, so our tournament schedule is complete. And like I said, it's up on our website. And I'm going to put it on Facebook, too. I didn't get that done yet, but I will get it on our Facebook page as well. Okay. And uh, the one days over the two days, that should be helpful for folks that may or may not be able to go an entire weekend or something like that. Yeah, it's that's, that's what it's for. I mean, we've had that in the past where uh, we just last year, I think, or I think it was last year, we had an individual uh, fisherman that had to come back, uh, had plans on Sunday. So uh, he, he left Saturday night. And, um, and so that's one of the reasons to do that. The other reason that I like doing it um, is that's how they fish them at the state level and at the um, national level they have when they have their tournaments. They're just one-day tournaments. And then um, the other reason is because you may have a really good day on Saturday and win the tournament. Whereas before, you have a really good day on Saturday and a really bad day on Sunday, and somebody passes you and you end up losing. So it kind of spreads out the, the opportunities to win a tournament. You know, by having instead of, instead of five weekends where you have five tournaments, now you have ten tournaments over those five weekends. So it gives more opportunities to, to win a first place and to win some money. And um, So anyway, there's multiple reasons I liked it, and, and I'm glad the club decided to go for it because they were my proposals. <laughs> So, I mean, I, I thought they were I, th- I thought they were good. And if they wouldn't have went for it, I wouldn't have been upset. Yeah. But, but no, no. I like I liked the fact that we're going to try it this year. Now, the, the now does this change the minimal number of tournaments to participate in to qualify for the championship and stuff like that? No, or? our proposal was, since, since the proposed format changes and the schedule all passed, um, they have to fish. We have to fish a minimum of eight tournaments. Three of uh, five of which have to be individual. So uh, they could fish all eight individual and no team tournaments, but at least five have to be individual tournaments. And you have to fish a minimum of at least eight of the 15 opportunities um, to be eligible for the championship. And we, you know, that's our that's our proposal. That's our idea going in. Um, and hopefully that works out to where we'll have 10 anglers and 10 non-anglers all qualify and uh, and be ready to fish in our championship. Okay, so when's the first tournament? March fourth and fifth. It's the it's the only one besides our championship. that's two days, uh, so it'll be a two day tournament at Lake Amstead in Del Rio, Texas, on March fourth and fifth. It is a team tournament. I've had this asked before, and you may have even asked me, but I'll I'll say it here. Mm-hmm. Um, team tournament is two anglers, you know, but if you don't have a partner. You can still fish it. You just at you know your 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 odds are are not as good. Although I've seen guys win team tournaments just one guy in the boat. Mm-hmm. But obviously, if you have two fishing poles going at one time all day long and uh, for a weekend, that it increases your odds to catch fish. 
but you don't have to have a team member to fish our team tournament. You can fish by yourself if you if that's how it works out. So if you fish as a team, you, your the, collective the, best five. It's the best fish from both yeah. fishers. It's not two sets of right. fish you're you're weighing and, and right but exactly. now you've got two poles in the water right trying to catch those fish and it which increases your odds by a double mm -hmm. you know because you got two but but i but i have seen in our tournaments where uh per, a person was fishing by themselves and they won the team tournament they just had a really good yeah tournament they found fish and they found the big ones so yeah it could happen so okay so uh the schedule is posted online, yes. and your membership form is online and yes. all that. Uh, so people need to sign up. And now for your dues, you have the Pecos Valley Bassmasters are part of that. Mm -hmm. And then there's the New Mexico Bass Nation. Is that a part of that? That is part of it, and then the national dues. And I, and I um, just for those out there listening that have already paid their dues, um, which there's a bunch of us that have, um, I was trying, so so Bass Nation, and and I think they're going back to call calling themselves the Bass Federation. So hmm. years ago, well, I don't know how many years ago, but it used to be called uh, BASS Federation Nation, mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. and then it changed to Bass Nation. Mm -hmm. They left out the federation part. But this year for 2022, BASS has got a new roster. Uh, system for clubs all over the United States and the new system is is called TBF the the Bass Federation so that tells me that maybe it's no longer gonna be called Bass Nation mm -hmm. um, and also I, I was trying to it's it's very to me it doesn't seem very user-friendly I, I was having a tough time navigating the system um, but I finally figured out how to get guys entered into our roster Although I'm not 100%, I've done everything correctly. But, but one of the questions I've got to get with our state level folks and see if they can help me this week. I'm going to do that um, because it says dues are 50 bucks, and to pay them to like an individual's name mm -hmm. and send it to a address in Colorado, it really confused me. <laughs> um, Hi, my name is Joe. You know, but I'm, a, <laughs> I'm the treasurer. Yeah, so send me the money. Well, that's what it's almost <laughs> like. But it was fifty dollars, uh -huh. and so. And I can't, and I just, I mean, I'm, I'm fairly good at internet stuff. I, I mean, think I you do are, a lot yeah. of things, but yeah. I'm having a difficult time with this website, with this uh, roster management system that, that BASS has set up. And, and I know it's just me, um, but I've got to figure that out this week. I, we've already collected our dues for a, a, a good number of people that have already joined the club. And, and obviously, if you haven't joined, you, it's not too late. You can join any time. Sure. Uh, anybody out there listening. But anyway, we, so I need to know how to send the money to where. Because last year and before, all the years that I've dealt with BASS, it was, it was pretty straightforward. The website mm -hmm. was... I thought it was a little antiquated. I thought it was a little old, and that's probably why. I mean, not because I thought it was, but that's probably why they've updated it. But because it was kind of uh, blocky, you know, it was like yeah. old stuff. But yeah. but it was pretty easy to see how to do things. And you and so when I wanted to pay our national dues, I would just you know click a button and pay it with a credit card. Well, now it's not that way. It says mail check, and it's got a person's name. Mm -hmm. Make payable too, which I thought was really strange. Yeah, but like you said, it maybe it's the treasurer at the. I don't know. But you would like to know level. before you did that. Well, I just, I just <laughs> would. It just is odd. Yeah. To me. In the past, I've always just paid BASS. You yeah. Know, I would just use a credit card, pay it uh, for the thirty dollars, and it was always thirty dollars. The state dues are twenty. Mm -hmm. That's New Mexico. I don't know what other dues are, but now on this website it says dues are fifty. Yeah. Yeah, and, and you so, haven't been charging that. And I didn't charge that yeah. this year. So yeah. anyway, we I've got some uh, some digging to do and and talk to our new officers. I was the treasurer for New Mexico Bass Nation, maybe, but I'm not. I I resigned a month ago or so. Decided to step down. I got too many things going on. It was just too much. Yeah. To try it again this year, and so maybe I would have known about this. I know they've had some meetings, but I don't because I wasn't in those meetings anyway. I've got to call, figure this out for our club because um, because the dues either went up or they're including maybe they maybe they include once you put in your state yeah they include the state dues I just don't know I've got to figure that out yeah but I'm going to work on that this week for anybody out there listening we'll get it our club will be uh, squared away hopefully by the end of the week well that's good that's yeah. good so folks if you're interested in uh, 
bass fishing and being a part of the Pecos Valley Bass Masters, you can go to their website, which is um, pvbm.club. Mm -hmm. And or you can go to our Facebook page at Pecos Valley Bass Masters. Facebook page, you're just going to see some posts. Basically, I'm going to try to post some things this week, including the schedule. But pvbm.club is where you're going to get a lot of information and, th and that's where you can join the easiest. So that's right. where I encourage people to go. Yeah. It also has, uh, I need to update our, uh, because now we also voted in our new officers. Okay. So I'm going to get our new, our officers page, our, our About Us page updated with those, with those, everybody's information. But my stuff is still there. If somebody wanted to call, mm -hmm. my number is there on the, on the About Us section. So. Okay. So are you uh, still getting the singing bass as a gift from time to time from different people? <laughs> Never have gotten that. Uh, <laughs> never have gotten a singing bass from anybody. I know. I know what you're talking about. I've seen them, but I've never gotten one. I saw uh, somebody that converted it to a uh, an Alexa. And oh yeah. Yeah. So instead of the cylinder thing that Alexa sells, it's 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 that it's that talking fish. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's nice. pretty. That's pretty creative, right? Yeah, that there is creative to do that. Well, good. Well, hopefully the weather will warm up and everything will turn out nice, and uh, folks want to get signed up and join or have questions or, you know, uh, uh, get it, get all that answered. And hopefully this will be a good year for the Pecos Valley Bass Masters. Hopefully the New Mexico lakes will be great lakes and have some more New Mexico oriented uh, outings. That'll be a lot of fun. Yeah, looking forward to a great year. Um, and like you said, I'm hoping our weekends that we chose end up being not so windy and not so cold. Yeah. We'll see how it goes. See how it goes. All yep. right, Joby, thank you very thank much. Thank you. Appreciate it.